All right, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Hakudash, Lalam Yom. Well, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and Savior, the nation of Israel, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and I also say peace and blessing to the Lord's elect. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a Quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, representing the Cleveland Church of Great Millstone. I want to say the water, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, for giving the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, this is a quick topic I want to touch on. I was uh, listening to uh, Elder Manat Manatatakba's uh, lesson yesterday, uh, and I, he made a, a, a good point in the middle of, of his lesson. And um, you don't want to touch on it uh, because, you know, we can't uh, get offended. Uh, by the by the uh, delivery of the gospel. All right, now you're gonna have some some men that are a little bit smoother uh, with with their words, and you're gonna have some men that are a lot rougher with their words. All right, but what is the message? The doctrine is still the same. You know, so this is why I'm, I'm a uh, uh, this is why this lesson is titled "Smooth Words Are for Your Christian Pastors," man. All right, smooth words if you're Christian pastors, and then we people we got to understand uh, that the men that that we see out here on the highways and hedges uh, have been through a lot of stuff, man. You know, they you know brothers have lived a hard life. You know, now coming into this truth, we uh, you know, we kind of understand, you know, uh, what it takes, you know, to uh, to uh, 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 get the message across. You know, so some lessons may be, uh, uh, you know, a little bit smoother in words. Some some lessons, you know, may be uh, more fiery to get people fired up. Right. That's what. um, What's that? Jew. Uh, one and twenty. Uh, two, it says, and some have compassion, making a difference. So you're going to have some men that that uh, that that, uh, you know, are a little bit more compassionate. Right. A little bit more smoother with the words. You know. They have a certain message that that, uh, you know, is a little bit. Um, I'm, 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 I don't want to say easy to listen, listen to because the message is a message, you know, but uh, a little bit. Uh, some brothers are a little bit uh, smoother with the words. Right. Verse 23, it says, and others save with fear. Pulling them out of the fire, right? H hating even the garment spotted by by the flesh. So sometimes you're gonna uh, have men that that are, are gonna put the fear of the heavenly Father in you, man. All right, and and people are so up in arms about uh, the 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 message, the, uh, cuss words, whatever, you know, and without even really knowing the the definition of of what the the Bible said, what what cursing is, you know. So the Bible says that when you when you when you curse somebody, you uh, you uh, let me you know, let me get let's get this, because what it what it uh, what did Peter do? OK, when they uh, accused him of knowing Yahweh Shai, uh, let's go to Mark uh, 14. And. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 69, but the point is in verse 71. It says, and they made saw him again and began to say uh, to say to them that stood by. This is one of them. OK, because they were, uh, you know, um, uh, looking for uh, the, 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 the disciples. Right. Right. The followers of, uh, of the men of Yahweh Shai. Right. At verse 70. And, and Yahweh Shai told Peter that he would he would deny him three times and the cock would crow. Right. Uh, verse 70, it says, and he denied it again. And a little after that, uh, they, they that stood by said again to Peter, surely thou art one of them. Thou art for thou art a Galilean and thy speech agreeeth there too. But what happened? Verse 71, but he began to curse and to swear saying, I, I know not this man whom of whom you speak. All right. So let's get this, the blue letter for, for this word curse. All right. It says to devote to destruction, uh, to declare oneself liable to the severest divine penalties. 
All right. It says uh, when you go down to the Strong's definition, it says to declare or vow under a penalty of uh, execration. And let's let's look at this word execration. Uh, it just says uh, to a vow or a swear a word. Um, Merriam-Webster, a solemn, us a solemn, usually formal calling upon the Heavenly Father or a power to witness to the truth of what? You know, so this is what the, uh, the, this, in this specific instance, what, what, uh, 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 a, a curse is, right? A, um, like a, a vow, like you, 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 like you swear that, that, uh, <laughs> this ain't true or something like that, but we're going to get another account. Before we, uh, before I pull the, um, the elders, uh, clip, I want to, I'm going to play. Let's go to Romans. Let's see what the apostle Paul said. Romans 12 and verse 14, it says, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. All right. Now see, this is, this is another instance of the word curse. Now let's get this word, this word curse. All right, and it says to curse, to doom, to imp uh, imprecate evil upon. So this is another form of cursing. See, we have we have it in our mind that 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 uh, cursing uh, starts and ends with four letter words. No, that's just a, a modern, uh, you know, uh, agreement that these words, what these words mean, and they're uh, uh, quote unquote derogatory. But these words weren't this, English is a cursed language. When you when you when you write in, in cursive, that, that's at, you're actually cursing your own self. That's why that, that's why the root word of cursive is curse. But we've been taught English is a cursed language. So we we've been cur we we've been saying cur uh, 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 so called curse words <laughs> since we've been taught to speak. Right. But the Bible has a different uh, 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 definition of what cursing is, man. You know, so brothers going to say a lot of four letter words. Who cares? What is the message behind those words? All right. Now, let's let's get let's get the, uh, the elder. Let's see what he has to say. And that's that's a beautiful point that the elder made, you know, what I'm saying, because we've been we've been taught to be overly emotional. We've been taught to be uh, 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 overly sensitive. When this doctrine is a, is a, is a rough doctrine, the 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 way that 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 yeah, like like the elder was saying, like the way that Yahweh was crucified. When you read the accounts and you and you start to understand uh, uh, the things that he he went through, of course you gonna get pissed off, man. Of course you're going to, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 wish death on, on all the people that, that, that put uh, Yahweh shot to death, man. Of course you're going to see all, uh, you know, these so-called these so white people uh, being in, in, in shackles, man. And the rest of the nations. But when we come out and we say it and we and we and we get fired up in the spirit and, we, you know, and, and brothers say four letter words or whatever and people get offended. Why? Because we, we got a Bible in our hand. You know, it's, this is not Christianity, man. This is this is <laughs> this is real life. Brothers done 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 repented for, uh, from from from, uh, you know, being drug dealers. Brothers have been repentant from uh, being murderers. Brothers have been repentant from, uh, 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 you know, all sorts of things, man. Gang bangers. So the personality doesn't change, but what, but, but what hap What, what changes? Is the is the belief in the in the in the in the in the in the, uh, the mind, the way you think changes. 
Not your personality, that, because you still have fiery brothers that was in, they had that same fiery spirit in the world. But now they still now in the truth they have that that fiery spirit. But it's not the delivery, man. It's the message that 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 comes behind the delivery. So we can't be overly sensitive on on uh, on how brothers uh, per portray the gospel because you may miss the message behind what the brother is saying. All right, what did what did Isaiah say? Let's go to Isaiah. Uh, 30. And uh, verse 9, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Right. And this, this who is this people? This people is talking about the, the Israelites, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. You make up the children of Israel. You're the only ones that, that have have com, have continually disobeyed the Lord, man. Your power. By what? By trimming your ways to seek love, by by uh, uh, bowing to idols. By thinking that you're, you're your own God, you're rebellious people. This is why the Lord told Ezekiel to make your forehead hard against their forehead. So we don't have time to, to mince words. You, you either get the message or you don't. We say all these cuss words in, in the world, right, in, uh, in our daily lives. But then when it comes to a man preaching the gospel and he, he may sort of say some cuss words or, 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 or whatever, then, then people want to get offended. It, it, it don't work like that, man. Because the message is the message. Um, Isaiah 30 and verse 10, it says, we say to the seers, right? And the seers is just another word for a prophet. Right. Well, you can read about that. And uh, what's that? First uh, Samuel nine and verse nine. Right, that the seers were were were, uh, uh, were uh, the prophets were were a time called seers, right? It says we say to the seers, and the seers are back right now, giving this message. It says, uh, "See not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits." You see that people want to hear those smooth words. They want to hear those those common words. Now, now sometimes that may work, but Jake is a is a is a rebellious people, man. Sometimes the only way you 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 know somebody is serious is when somebody starts cussing at them, man. Because Jake think that that uh that 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 you playing games or you you ain't serious about something until you start using these four letter wor uh, words. So Jake want to hear these smooth things. Let me let's get this word smooth real quick. Let me see what this says. Uh, all right, uh, flattery. You see, people, uh, we we're not here to be uh, to flatter you, man. We're here to to to, to preach the gospel. What do you, what did what did Yahweh Shah say in uh in uh what's that Luke thirteen? Let's get that real quick. That's my favorite precept. Uh, Luke thirteen and three. Uh, Luke thirteen and three. It says, "I tell you nay, but it's except, it, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish." Now this is a uh, uh, this is the King's English way of saying this, right? But when you, if you if you go to the the uh, to the Hebrew, right? That's why it says in the prologue of Sirach that the things uttered in another language have not the same force in them. So the, so the Lord is saying, "Hey man, you you either turn your ways, or you're gonna die, man." You see, and people still have this uh, this this uh, white Jesus image in their in their in their uh, in their minds. Right. The, 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 the free flowing, stringy, blonde hair with a uh, with a smile, welcoming everybody with his hands out, man. God so loved the world. Everybody can be saved. When the scripture says that Yahweh Shai was an austere man. Right. Let's get that.
uh, Luke 21, 19 and verse 21. It says, for I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou uh, that thou laidest not down and reapest that thou didst not sow. Now, when we go to austere. It goes into just for the sake of time, because I got, I got to get up out of here, but it says of mind and manners, harsh, rough, rigid. You see, this is this is our this is our the so-called uh, uh, who the word English calls Jesus Christ, man. This man, this man was a harsh, rough, rigid man. And his men are going to be uh, uh, the same way. We're not here to make friends. We're not here to guide you and in, to and to walk you by the hand. man. we're here to get the blood off of our hands. We're working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So we this is this is what we're commanded to do, man. We're commanded to put the fire up under Jake, man. And sometimes, well, a lot of times, in order for that fire to happen, what do you got to do? You got you got to say some uh, some 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 uh, some four letter words, man, to get Jake fired up, to let him know this ain't a a, a, a game. All right, um, you know what? And let's let's we're gonna wrap it up with Revelation, uh, fourteen, and five. It says, and and in their mouth was found no guile for they are without fault before the throne of the most high you ready okay so yeah so that's what it is man okay without 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 guile man so we, we're gonna keep give you the 100 percent unadulterated truth man okay the harsh rigid rough tough truth hey so uh so hey so lord willingness us was edifying i'm gonna give all honor glory and infinite worship to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai Bahasham, Racha, Hakwadash, Alalam Yum, Double Honor to the Apostles, Others Great Millstone, I'll say Kwame Sharala, Muwatha Babal, Shalom.